To assemble a zip, we will need the following. A pair of sharp scissors to cut the zip. A pair of pliers. One slider. Two top stops. And a bottom stop. We'll start with the bottom stop. Place the bottom stop on top of the chain of the zip with the four metal teeth facing down. Then press it down until it goes all the way in. Next, we need to slightly bend the four metal teeth inwards using the pliers. Finally, we need to firmly press down the teeth with the pliers. Next, we need a slider to open and close the zip. Hold the slider between your thumb and index finger like this. Push the slider down the zip as far as possible. Hold the zip tape on both sides and pull them apart until they spread and you hear a click. Then just pull the slider down. The slider is now assembled on the zip. The final step is to attach the top stops so the slider won't slide off the chain. Position one top stop in the tip of the pliers as shown. Then place it on the right side of the tape on top of the chain. Firmly press the pliers. Repeat the process on the left side and your zip is ready. As an alternative, we can also use sewing thread instead of the metal parts to assemble a zip. We will need a pair of sharp scissors, a cut zip with a slider already assembled like previously shown, and some Coates Duet sewing thread and a needle. To create a bottom stop with sewing thread, just start sewing around the chain of the zip. You will need to do several loops around the chain so that it becomes bulky enough to hold the bottom stop. Finish up with a knot at the back of the zip. To make the zip even more interesting, we can create a bottom stop embellishment. We need to cut one of the round flowers, including the chain, on one side of the zip, about half a centimetre. Then turn the remaining flower inside, like this, and sew it on top of the bottom stop.
the end result should look like this. Start by marking on both sides of the chain the position of the top stops and open the zip. Then you can just start sewing around the chain. Four or five loops should be enough. Finish up with a knot, just like we did on the bottom stop. Finally, repeat the process on the other side of the chain and your zip is ready.